how to sell on social media. Guys, Kim Barrett here from Your Social Voice. Thank you for joining us again today. And today I wanna to talk to you about how to sell on social media because it's something that we see so many people do wrong. Okay, and there's two different parts here because you have, I think a lot of people get confused, you have your personal profile and you have a business profile. And I'm gonna to touch on a little bit on both and I think it's a big problem that people have. Now, on your personal profile, can you sell on social media? 100% you can. However, you need to be careful because if you only post about your business, about selling things and you see people do it, you know, whether it's Tupperware, essential oils, uh, whatever, any sort of network marketing product, a lot of the times people will post about it and it can get your account shut down. So big asterisk, big warning right there. Do not only post about on your personal profile, do not only post about your business because number one, you're going to know your friends. Right? No one needs to know every, every time about how amazing your oils are or how much weight you lost. That's cool, share your story, but don't try and sell your products all the time, right? On your personal profile. Now you can do it. However, what I recommend normally is you wanna like sprinkle it, right? It's like a little bit of chili flakes, right? You don't wanna go and put the whole bag right in there and everyone's sweating because of how much you're promoting your stuff, but you wanna intermingle it with stories. You wanna intermingle it with different things that you're doing in your own personal life because that's what Facebook page is for. Now, Facebook has recently categorized it as your news feed is like the town square. So you're going there, you're having fun with your friends, you're interacting with your friends, you are seeing shops and stores and options to buy things. However, it is not the most important thing. The most important thing is the interaction with other people. So you need to remember that when you go in there, you don't wanna be the crazy person yelling on the corner, hey, come buy my stuff. You wanna be the person who's intermingling with everyone else. And sure, if the opportunity arises, then you can go and you know offer something that you have. You can go and build a relationship to then push people towards taking an action and selling on social media. However, that should not be the main focus, right? It should not be the main focus. So can you do it? Yes. Should you do it all the time? No. And a really good ratio to think of is something that was developed by a guy called Gary Vaynerchuk. So he wrote a book that was called Jab, 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 Right Hook. So if you imagine that in boxing, that's boxing terminology, right? So you've got jab, 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 right hook, which means three times value to one time basically selling. So if you imagine that's like giving value, giving value, giving value, asking for something. So if you take that analogy into what you're doing with your personal profile, and I'll touch on the business profile in just a moment, then that is completely okay. That is completely fine. And you will pass everything through Facebook's uh, basically definition of using selling on social me media. But this applies to every single platform. Don't make every post a sale. Don't make every post an offer, right? You need to be able to give value back. So on your personal profile, that's what I would recommend. Right, is to do that and layer it in at that level. Yes, you can still have links to your website. Yes, still have links to your products and services by utilizing not only your banner at the top of your page, but also your top, I think it's only your top nine photos. You can make one big photo there, which can be a call to action with links to websites, which is fine, but don't overdo it. Now let's look on the business profile page, right? This is where you can do most of your selling through social media. So here is where Facebook expects you to play, right? So if you imagine you've got your town square, which is your profile, uh, the uh, news feed, everyone walking around, everyone going and joining themselves, the shop fronts are your business profiles. Shop fronts are your business profiles. So this is where you can layer in those sales. This is where you can put up the sales signs. You can have the big megaphone being that everyone come in, you know, come try out new products and services. But again, you still need to give value. You can't do that all the time because otherwise what happens when people go there, if every single post that they see is sale, offer, buy this, closing down sale, reopening sale, all these different things, they're gonna get annoyed. They're gonna get frustrated with you and they're just gonna be like, why would I wanna buy from this person? There's no value. There's no jab, 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 right hook. You still need to be able to give that value to people to ensure that when it comes to making a decision, they're ready to buy from you. Now, what does that value look like? If you've got, okay, cool, I'm doing three pieces of value, then I'm doing one kind of like sale or offer, like how does that work, All right? Well, it works in by providing video content, kind of like this video we're doing right now. Maybe it's by giving away uh, a free download, maybe it's uh, a photo of yourself and your team and your business and what you guys are up to. Things that people can interact with because it's social media. 
right? It is still social, it still needs to be fun, it still needs to be interactive. And then yes, by all means, put up a post about an offer that you have, an upcoming event that you're doing, maybe some uh, something that you're supporting that you want people to get behind, that's still a sale, right? Still promoting that. And by doing that, what that means is that you actually have the benefit of providing value to people. So even if they don't buy, they still think of you as the most important person, the most relevant person when it comes to your product or service. Now, can we automate some of this stuff, right? Because you're like, Kim, this sounds like a lot of hard work. I've got to do this post, three posts, one post, all this stuff. That's where paid advertising comes in. That's where it becomes easier to sell on social media. I say easier, not easy, but a little bit easier than the other process because what happens is you can run, obviously, your paid advertising and put that in front of the most relevant people to you, right? The most relevant people to you. Now, our process at Your Social Voice is we look at taking people through three different areas and the three different types of campaigns that you need to run. Number one is a conversion mechanism or a conversion campaign. This is where you're getting leads. This is where you're getting that inquiry where people are registering. Like, cool, I wanna work with you, bang, register. And then you can have that conversation, that sales conversation, maybe it's a webinar, free download, whatever it might be for you. That is that conversion mechanism. Then we have a list builder. That's where you're starting to build your database of people because yes, you still need to have a database, whether it's on Messenger, whether it's on uh, email, whatever it is for you, you need to consistently be building a list. And then lastly is what we call our mogul method, which is your value add piece, which is where you're putting content out to the marketplace. You're providing them with value consistently, time, 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 time again, which is important. Because then what happens is they watch that content, they consume it, they're like, oh wow, this is great. And we've got a video coming out for you soon on some of the different video retargeting strategies that we use. But what happens is when people consume that, they consume it again, then they see a list builder, they opt in, right? They opt into your messenger bot or to your email list. Then when you're running a webinar or you have an offer for book a call, they register for that as well. So what, that, what happens there is that people start to build a relationship with you and you're covering all ends of the spectrum, all ends of the hot scale. Now I'm not talking about a cute girl or a cute guy, I'm talking about how warm are your prospects? Because we have people starting from cool, so cold to cool to warm to hot, which is their buying cycle, right? So if they're cool or they're cold, they haven't considered your product yet. Like, oh, maybe I need help with that. Maybe I wanna look at this, but I'm not quite sure. I'm not really sure if I should be doing that or not. I'm not sure how important that is. Then they get warmed up like, yeah, maybe I'll look at this product or service. And hot is like, I'm ready to make a buying decision. I wanna do something, let me jump on a webinar, let me jump on a call, and I'm gonna take some action upon it. Right, so you cover all the ends of that heat spectrometer, right, of that heat spectrum by having those three campaigns in place. And if you have that in place, that can always be run. So you stack that on top of your social that you're doing, where you're putting organically, you're posting on your personal page, you're doing all these things. Then you have like the perfect storm, the storm in a teacup where you've got all the right elements there and you consistently have inquiries coming in every day. Like for us, on average, we'll have 10 to 20 inquiries per day coming in that we can then touch base with. The guys can call them, they can see what's happening for them and see if we can help them in their business, add some value to them. But if we didn't have all those campaigns running and we weren't doing all that work on social media, then that wouldn't be the case. Maybe be one or two, maybe zero, who knows, right? but that's the process that you need to go through. So a little recap there for you guys is number one, yes, you can sell on your personal page. Ratio, three to one. Utilize your top banner and the top nine uh, placements for those photos. Number two, can you sell on your business page? Absolutely, again, same ratio, three to one. Make sure that you're providing value like a video like this, video, images, even just written text, links to other articles or things that they may find of value. Right, check out our page if you want an example of how we kind of do it. We link out to other podcasts and things like that. Number three is then creating your paid advertising strategy to basically complement everything that you've already done there. If you do that, then that's going to mean you'll be set yourself up for success. And then number four is use those three different campaign strategies. Number one, conversion mechanism. Number two, list builder. And then number three, video retargeting, i.e. the mogul method, right? We've done a video on that before you guys can check out, just scroll through our channel. 
Now, if you guys have any questions on that, please drop them down below. We'd be more than happy to address them for you. If you like this video, give me a cheeky thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. That's cool as well, but just tell me why. Right? If you don't like it, tell me why. I'll make it better next time. Maybe you're like Kim. Lewis's hands were shaking all over the place. Next time, give him, give him a tripod. Okay, cool. Hand, you know, feedback taken, guys. And make sure that you subscribe so that you see these videos before anyone else. All right, guys. Until next time, I'm Kim Barrett. You have all been awesome. Adios.